It's Chris with the Science Center, and I've got a fun combination of science, math, and art for you this week. I've got bubble prints. So what you're going to need are some straws, food coloring, a dish, some paper. I use heavier paper like cardstock, and you're going to need some bubble solution. You can either use the store-bought kind, or you can make your own with dish soap, water, and a little bit of glycerin, but I like to use a little bit of half and half for this experiment. So you're going to pour your bubble solution into your container and you want to get a pretty thick layer of bubble solution in there. Next you are going to take your straw and blow bubbles in your solution, kind of like you're blowing bubbles in milk. Now you'll notice most of my bubbles like to form circles and that's because it's really hard for bubbles to form other shapes because they want to keep the minimum surface area and that shape just happens to be a circle. So now drop your food coloring in and it'll catch on the edges of your bubble shapes. Next take your paper and lay it on top of the bubbles and you should have a print of what your bubbles look like. So you'll notice a lot of circle shapes, but you'll also notice that where the bubbles meet, they form some interesting angles. Bubbles meet at a 120 degree angle. So as you can see, bubbles are a great way to combine science, math, and art. So keep experimenting with bubbles. What happens if you try and use a square bubble wand? Will you get a square bubble? See you next week.